guys, I'm Megan. And I'm Wendy. And today is the next installment of our everyday makeup collection. And today we are talking eyes. And these videos are really just to show you stuff that is in our everyday collection. Stuff that's available to us that we're actually using on a regular basis. It's what we grab. So how about we start here? Because we both have these. These are the Naked Basics palettes. Do you also have Naked Basics one? No, nope, just the two. two. Just two. Now, to, t to show you how often I use my Naked I Basics know. two, my mirror started to fall out. Oh, oh it's, no. It's, uh, it's back in. But have you hit, yep. Yeah, yeah. I have hit pan on three of these. Let me see which ones. Yeah, those are my, these are my top three. What is it? Skimp, Stark, and Frisk. I wear these pretty much every single day. Me too. So I just, they're so great, and at 20, I think they're $28. Yeah. This has lasted, I got this last December, it is now November. I mean, that, come on. They're, I think, a great value with the quality of the shadows that are inside and how long they last. My and how only long complaint is, is, like, I want to replace Stark, and I don't, they don't sell no. these colors as individuals. That, so. is, that is the problem with a palette. Yeah. Product of shame. And I'm a huge CoverGirl fan. I have this cover. Look, the lid comes off of it. I buy it all the time. I can only find it at Ulta for some reason. But this is a little small CoverGirl palette. And it is called Eye Enhancers. It's hard to find for some reason. I love these like two middle colors here. They have a little shimmer in them. It's very similar. Very similar to the Naked Basics 2. So I also have the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I just love this. It took a while for me to get into it. Now obviously I use the colors that are on this side of the palette, the neutrals. That's really my comfort zone. Although every once in a while I get a little crazy and go over here. Well I have an eye primer. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes eye primer. Do you wear an eye primer? The Urban Decay, but I didn't bring it. Um, but I don't even know what I would do without an eye primer anymore. Like if I had to apply eyeshadow without an eye primer, it would be almost not even worth wearing yeah. eyeshadow. I got eyeliner. Seriously, I don't wear a ton of eye makeup just because I'm lazy <laughs> on mornings. But um, I got, picked this up at Sally Beauty Supply. What's the last name of the Sally Beauty Supply? I can't remember. Yeah, like I was kind of, they had a ton of makeup there. Brands that I'm not really familiar Is that with. Like a Plummy color? It is because my eyes are kind of hazily green, hazily green, mm -hmm. and I think like plummy purple works best it's for pretty. it. So, yeah. but I don't wear this on the everyday. This is like if I go out at night, and which when is does rare. That Never. Uh, I have yet to find like my one true love Me and too. eyeliner. Me too. This is a Maybelline last Maybelline lasting drama waterproof gel pencil, and the color is glazed toffee. I'm a brown eyeliner girl. I hate brown eyeliner. Really? It just makes me look like poo all the time. Here's my problem with eyeliner is that I don't have smooth eyelids, so I find myself kind of like tugging my eyelid mm -hmm. to put it on. You gotta hold it out like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I have a kind of a hard time getting like a nice smooth line, yep. but I do like this. This is long wearing. It's pretty easy to apply. Although I wish it was in like a twist up pencil rather than a sharpenable oh. pencil because I do find these to be kind of hard to sharpen. Yeah, I prefer that. This is another drugstore product, the Milani. Do you like Milani brand? I do. Um, I've had this for a while. It comes with like, it comes with like, a eyeshadow brush for highlighter that I never use but I always keep it in there <laughs> and then it comes I don't have the brush for the eyebrows I don't know where it's at but it has a little small angle it's itty bitty you yeah. know do my itty bitty brows with it but what I like about this is for the they have two shades here a darker brown and then for a blonde and I like mm. the blonde because it is more yellow. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say that because I just showed Megan this other brand that I bought and the blonde is too really dark. brown. Mm -hmm. And so I like the lightness of this. So it's, it's more blonde. Yes. And so it depends on the blonde of my hair usually. <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit darker. Sometimes it's a little brighter. So it depends on what kind I put in. For eyebrows, um, I'm a big fan of this NYX eyebrow pencil. Um, NYX has the micro brow pencil that is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia. Oh. It's, they only sell it, I think, at Ulta. And I'm not in Ulta very often, yeah. but I am in Target very often. So this is the one they sell in Target. And I actually like this one very much. Ooh, it got a little crunched. Um, because I think it's under $6. And it's a twist up. 
I wish it had a spoolie rather than this little brush, but I, I do like um, this eyebrow pencil, especially for the price point. And then for something at a little bit of a different price point, I have this It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal eyebrow pencil in the color Universal Tote. Ah, that is a mouthful. Yeah, it really Jeez, is. Louise. Again, it has a twist up. This was a in a um, gift set, so I didn't pick the color, but it actually works really well on me. And this one has, whoops, has a spoolie on the end, which I love very nice. much. Spoolie. I thought you weren't a fan of this. I am not a big fan of this, um, but I had it in my collection. This is the Maybelline, nope. Nope, it's not. Upper Girl Super Sizer. Wendy loves this. I do, and I went and bought the waterproof. You don't use waterproof, right? I do not. Oh, so that is waterproof. This is waterproof. I like this mascara quite a bit, but it is being edged out right now by the Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Now that is really polarizing because some people are loving it and some people are hating it. I saw a BuzzFeed video with, it was like talking about clumping mascara or whatever, and, and they were using this. using this product, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Okay. So many weird things about this because this is loose down here and I always want to turn it and think like, oh, yeah. but anyway, um, it has the brush that you don't like. It has those little plastic, bristles. you know, bristles, but it gives a lot of, um, you know, what's the fullness? Volume. Volume. I enjoy it. My last mascara, this was a birthday sample from Ulta and this is the Urban Decay Perversion. No idea what color this is. It doesn't say, it. oh, no. Is black? It just has bigger black or badder, but I so it's black. But it has I love 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 ooh yeah ooh, a big fluffy mascara brush. I just love it because I'll tell you why that's so important to me. I have blonde eyelashes, okay. clear, translucent, not visible. So the average person, if their mascara goes on, it doesn't need to go completely around their eyelash. Mm -hmm. They can miss one. If I miss one, it's really obvious. If it doesn't get all the way around my eyelash, it's really obvious. So I like these big fluffy brushes that kind of envelop my lash in color. All right, you guys, that is what we're using on our eyes right now. Let us know your favorite products down below. Please. We are always looking for yes. new stuff, especially for eyeliner. Yes. Is there an idiot proof eyeliner out there? Because we need it. Yes. Yeah. Let us know, yeah. subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.